Having realistic materials is the golden rule for creating photorealistic scenes in 3D modeling. And when using Blender, you normally have to set up a bunch of different nodes to combine different texture maps to achieve this realistic result that you want. Andrew Price from Blender Guru made a 30 minute tutorial a few years ago showing you the node setup process for realistic results. A link to watch that video will be in the description below. But now that Blender has evolved throughout the years, the software has improved a lot. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys a fast and shorter method to creating realistic materials for your scene. Though before we get started, this method isn't the 100% best way on achieving these lifelike results, but it is in fact a very good way, and that's why I'm making this video. So please give this video a like, and without further ado, get to Bon Bon. So I set up this simple scene that took me hours to make. <laughs> Just kidding. But in this scene, I have one lamp, the default cube, and a large plane which we'll be putting our material on in this video. So let's just drag this window a little or halfway up the screen, and then click the button on the lower left, and go into the node editor. Once you've opened it up, remember to make sure that you have your nodes turned on by clicking the checkbox near the sentence, Use Nodes. Now we're going to add a node by clicking the add button down here or by clicking shift A on your keyboard and then we're going to first search the image texture node. Now let's go ahead and search for the diffuse texture that you want to use. Alright so after you selected your diffuse texture, click on the image texture node and let's duplicate it by clicking shift D on your keyboard. So now we're going to add a different map of our diffuse texture called the normals. Without having to Photoshop, you can easily create a normals map or any other map of your texture with the free software Crazy Bump. This software is fast, easy, used by multiple artists, and works on any computer platform. A link to download the software will be in the description below. Go ahead and select your normals map version of the texture and be sure to change the node's color space to non-colored data. This will uh, make Blender not read the image as a diffuse texture. So after, add another node called the texture coordinate. You'll be able to use this to not only properly apply your image into the mesh, but as well as input into a UV image, set the mapping, and more. We'll next add a normal map node. For those of you guys who've been wondering, this will be connected to the image texture node with our normals texture. The normals texture tells the software where the bumps are in the texture. Then the normal map node would map and apply the normals into the mesh when connected to the normal input in the diffuse node. I feel like I said the word normal too much. And now to add some reflection to the surface and material. We'll add a gloss shader on the bottom of the diffuse node, and then we'll add a Fresnel node on the top. After, we'll add a mix shader and connect the diffuse, gloss, and Fresnel output into the mix shader inputs. This mix shader will not only combine the nodes together, but as well as bounce it out to make sure that the material isn't too diffuse or too glossy. And that's pretty much it for this fast yet effective method on creating realistic textures in your scene in Blender in a short amount of time. You can add a mapping node in between the texture coordinate and the image texture nodes to scale out your texture so it's not too zoomed in on your mesh. And for your meshes that have multiple dimensions or that aren't UV image mapped, you can change the flat mode to box mode on the image texture nodes. Other than that, you should be good to go. Again, I'll leave a download link to the Crazy Bump software and to Andrew Price's video if you want an even better result, but it is a way longer method. But if this tutorial helped you out a lot or a little, please give this video a like to show your support and share this video with other people to help spread this new fast method on creating lifelike realistic materials. Thanks for watching, stay golden, and get a bonbon.